Amen. The devil always going to want to, amen, pray God, attack you what you know you need and what you like. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. 40 days and, and 40 nights, pray God, without anything, food or water. Amen. The first thing he said was, your natural need to feed your belly. Yes. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. I was doing a reading the other day about fasting, praise God, and uh, someone came up with a study that showed that your belly, your inner guts, amen, has a connection with your head. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. How many of you want to say something like, I felt that in my gut? Yes. <laughs> my gut feeling totally. Uh -huh. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. So, amen, the devil knows, praise God, what you feel here has an effect on your mind, and what affects your mind will affect your Somebody say amen. Amen. So I value God's word. John 8, 31 and 32 says, So Jesus was saying to the Jews who had believed on him, If you abide in my word, continually obey my teaching and live in accordance with them, then you are what? Truly, not just mine, but truly my disciples. Some people call them some disciples and they're not really disciples. Don't pull that apart. Just look straight ahead. Amen. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? Amen. Amen. They say one thing, but Jesus said, unless you abide in me, then you become truly Amen. my disciples. Amen? Amen. And you will know the truth regarding salvation and the truth of what? Amen. Set you free from what? The penalty of sin. Anybody set free this morning? Amen. Praise God. You know the penalty of sin and don't have you back any longer? Amen. Somebody say Amen. amen. So you gotta know you gotta know the truth, because you know what? The devil is always the accuser of Pastor John, and he will always bring up your past sins. Amen. And God's eyes forgiven you. And matter of fact, they are far from the east and from the west. So I say amen. Matter of fact, they are dead, and God will never bring him up, but the devil will bring him right back up and put him on the way. So I say amen. 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 But the truth will do what? Amen. First Samuel 16 and 7 says, But the Lord said to Samuel, let's read this, do not look at his appearance or at the height of his stature. Stop right there. God told the prophet, Amen, way back in the Old Testament, don't look at his appearance or his stature. Don't you know, friend God, if someone is a certain height and a certain appearance, you respect and honor a little bit more than you do others. If I'm telling the truth, wait a minute. The stature of the person is what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. He, him, all right, but he's too short. <laughs> Somebody say amen. amen. They gotta be six foot two, all that kind of stuff. Amen. <laughs> amen. Which I heard tell my story all the time. When I saw my wife, I knew I wasn't six two. Amen. <laughs> On a good day, I might be five eight. Somebody say amen. Amen. But what I had was amen. I had to get the gap. Yeah. So I say amen. amen. And, she, and I found out she loved me to talk about, hearing me talk about Jesus. Yeah. I told her this story all the time. And when she came in my presence, Jesus this, yeah. and Jesus that. <laughs> Jesus in the morning, amen. noon day. <laughs> Jesus late at night. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. amen. Painted her house. Never painted anything in my life. So I say amen. amen. So I can talk to her about Jesus. Yes. <laughs> Amen. But praise God. Amen. So don't look at the uh, 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 the prophet said to, uh, uh, said to him said, don't look at his appearance or at the height of his death because I have what? Rejected, Rejected him. him. For the Lord said not as what? Man. For the man looks at what? The outward appearance. Stop. Why are we worried about what man say about us? All they can see is your outward appearance. Yeah. Somebody say amen. Amen. They say things like don't judge the book by its color. Amen. They stole that from the word of God. Mm -hmm. They were the first one to come up with that. That concept. Well, according to what you just read here, well, they the first well, we the first one in this generation came up with that. No. Who can so God God saw prophesied this what? What thousands of years later? Yes. And we just now catching up with it. Mm -hmm. By saying stuff like don't look at the color. Mm -hmm. So I say amen. amen. He said, for the Lord see not as man see, for man look at what? The outward prayer, but the Lord looks work. At your will, your mind, your desires, your feelings. God sees the inside of you. Yeah. So if a folk come out, well, God know my heart, you better believe he does. Amen. 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 Hebrews 11 25 says, the pleasure of sin lasts for how long? Amen. Luke 
12, 15 says, real life. I, I love this right here. Y'all, some of y'all write this down. Hey, y'all, you used to watch the video and get this down. Real life is not measured by what? How much we own. No, the devil is destroying the church. Because the devil thinks that real life is what you own. Mm -mm. I see some head nodding here. Mm -hmm. And church people are getting caught up because yeah. people are not telling you you have to own this. You're not blessed till you own a certain amount of stuff. You're not blessed that you own a certain type of car. You're not blessed that you own a certain type of house. Somebody say amen. amen. But you heard Mr. Moore say amen. Oh, the house he got now is way better than all the apartments that he had. Amen. And cheaper. Somebody say amen. amen. It's not what he want in the end, but he think about what he has now. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. But, but real life is not measured by how much we own. And the devil has the church and trapped, I say amen. amen. And people in the church are destroying themselves, praise God, trying to own and measure up based on what we own. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. You got people in churches now, so many big churches now, I heard a report, so many big churches now, praise God, they are about to go bankrupt because people are writing such bad checks, yes, trying to impress God and get more. Amen. Come on, somebody say amen. amen. Trying to give a thousand dollar check and know you only got two hundred dollars in the bank. Amen. <laughs> God is not mocked. Whatever man saw, that's what he was. How dare you think God gonna bless you with a bad check? You know it's bad. Amen. It looks holy. Going up there. Somebody say amen. amen. But you can't fool God. You can't mock God. Somebody say amen. amen. Trying to prep the church all a hundred thousand dollar line. I'm doing well. <laughs> no, you should be in the five dollar line. Amen. That's what you let somebody. Come on now, I'm trying Amen. to let somebody in, right? Amen. Amen. And that's why we don't have no uh, no line for offering here. We don't do that that craziness here at Pure Gospel. Amen. Come on, say amen. Amen. But you, before God, 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 the church has set aside with how God has blessed you. That's right. And whatever God bless you will, set that aside and you bring it. Yes, yes. yes. And you bring it with joy. Because every part is, is equal sacrifice, but it's not always equal amount. Somebody say amen. amen. Did he say that one penny the woman gave is more than all others gave? Yeah. Somebody say amen. amen. It's not about what you have. What about you blessed or not? That's right. And church, please get out of that mode. Tell that devil you are God. Stop comparing what you have to somebody else. Yes. Be grateful for what you have. And when God bless you, he's going to bless you and you're going to give it to enjoy it. Amen. If you got it, you can't enjoy it, it ain't from God. Oh, give God a hand for that man. Yeah. A lot of people are doing stuff now, praise God, to press somebody, Pastor Jones, and they are miserable. Yeah. Amen. They get mad when every payment rolls around. <laughs> somebody say amen. amen. Praise God, amen. They, they mad when somebody... Uh, and they are miserable, praise God, because they can't... Uh, somebody help me here. Amen. But I'd rather have this and that and be happy. I told people, hey, amen, get something you can afford. That way you don't mind making a penis. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. If you get, you get something you know that God's given you and you can enjoy and be thankful, pray to God, when the payments come around, then you be like, hey, God, pay. Yes. Amen. But when you get something you know you're not supposed to get, when the time to come back and re repay, you just mad and frustrated. Mm -hmm. Somebody say amen. Amen. Y'all don't want to curse God. All right, let's move on. Amen. Number two. Got to move faster. What's going to last the longest? Go ahead. You got to ask yourself that. What's going to last the longest? Somebody say amen. Amen. What is going to last the longest? Amen. So let's get to the word of God. He says, 1 John 2, 7 says, the world is what? When I read this and I thought this, praise God, I said, wow. We are so called to be part of this world and be part of, people do anything now to be on TV. Anything to be on YouTube. Anything to get likes on Facebook. Or right. Twitter. Or Instagram. Somebody say amen. amen. They want to literally do anything now, praise God. But this world is what? It's away. And with it is what? Love. The shameful pursuit. And ungodly longing. That's what love said. The shameful pursuit. And ungodly longings. But the one who does the will of God. And carry out his purpose. Does what? Yes. Give God a hand for this 
I'm not going to hoot and holler about you. You're not going to just go ahead and pray for me right now. Because, listen, that is not what's going to help you, right? What's going to help you, praise God, is no one's going to last forever. This world is passing away. Yes. Right. Amen. Amen. But everybody, even the church folks now, are reaching out and grabbing for what's in this world. They have a bigger this, a more fancy that. Somebody say amen. amen. A bigger seat for the preacher, a bigger this. And more, come on, somebody. Amen. This world is passing away. Yeah. If you don't know the world passing away, I don't care if you got a nice house, 200,000, 100,000, just look around a little bit. You're going to see this, this, this fading away, that fading away, uh -huh. this tearing up. Somebody say, Amen. You gotta fix and repair this. 